Hello, welcome to What Not Basics. In this video, we will have a complete walkthrough of What Not's live chat feature. Live chat allows you to view all the conversations taking place between your visitors and chatbots or agents in real time. Live chat comprises of four sections, which are conversation category, conversation list, conversation screen, and qualification details. Let's start with conversation category. So all the conversations taking place can either be open or closed. Open conversations show you whether the conversation are assigned to you, your team, or they do not have any owner assigned. And if a conversation has been marked complete or its session has ended, it would move into closed tab. Here you can see all the historical conversations. We know sometimes it becomes difficult to find an important conversation and for that we have the label feature. With this feature, you can add labels to a conversation and come back to it whenever you want in just one click. You can also create a label by clicking here. I shall tell you more about this in the qualification details section. Next, we have the conversation list. Here you can monitor all the conversations happening across all the channels in real time. All new conversations get added from the top and as and when conversations are complete, they are removed from the list. For each conversation in the list, you will be able to see information like who is currently speaking with the bot, that is the visitor ID, the channel of communication, which in this case is Chrome, the location of the visitor, whether the conversation is headed by a bot or an agent, and details of their last message. Furthermore, we also have the service level agreement SLA timer here, which enables your agent to respond to visitors based on the time remaining. If you breach the timer, an animated clock will pop up so that the agents can prioritize responding to the visitors immediately. Lastly, you can search for a conversation or filter it by using list of properties like bot, status, assignees, etc. Coming to conversation screen, here you can see the entire history of each conversation in real time. Conversation can be assigned in two ways, manual approach, in which agent can click on the join conversation button to take control of the conversation and begin interacting or they can use automated assignment of chat with the human handover action block. Adding this action block transfers the conversation to the team that you defined. When a conversation is assigned to an agent, the visitor gets a notification like this, so that they are aware who they are speaking to. If you want a member of another team to take over the interaction, let's say sales team, you can click here and assign it to the teammate or team. The biggest benefit of WhatNot is that we do not charge on the basis of a seat or user. You can have as many agents as you like on the platform. Just go to settings. Here you can create a new team and add more teammates. Saved replies. With this icon, you can create and use a saved reply for faster response to queries. Let's create a reply for WhatNot. Now save the reply and it will be visible right here so that you can use it again. Also, you can add notes here for your future references. Finally, coming to the qualification details screen. Here you can see all the information captured by the chatbot about a visitor like name, email, phone number, etc. We also show some system data that we capture like city, country, zip code for your reference. You can hide, show or rearrange the properties that are important to you and also create new ones. Next we have labels. From this box below, you can create a label and add it to that conversation. For example, an agent can label a conversation as a sales potential it then becomes easier for a manager to take the further action. 
Now this label will be visible in a conversation category menu right here. Related conversations show you all the historical conversations that this visitor had previously with the chatbot or agent. Mostly in support you would find a lot of customers following up repetitively about an issue which is where this gets handy for the support representative. In the bottom left corner, you will see the settings. Go to live chat and here you can set the maximum number of conversations one agent can handle, how long until the conversation closes, human handover and other settings. Below, we also have the save replies tab where you can see the details like frequency, who created the reply, the date of modification and creation, and of course, you can edit, remove, or create the new replies from right here. You can find similar details and settings under the Labels tab. You can see that the interface is quite easy to understand for making live conversations with your visitors and will surely help you take your business a step further. That's all with Live Chat. Take a look at our other featured explainers in the next video.